Hi, right, morning. Welcome to the Suffolk Coastal Forest of Dunwich. It's just me and the dog out today. Been ignoring her for a few weeks with the amount of fishing and paddling that we've been up to. So it's time for me and her to spend a day out in one of her favorite places running through the forest. So we're gonna spend the day out today. We're gonna to be looking for some birch burls and uh, for some fat wood as well. And I thought we'd give a go to something that I've really, really been looking forward to trying for a while, but could never find it, so I decided to make it myself. So we're gonna have a go at a typical Sami sort of recipe of uh, some coffee cheese with a really, really nice brewed uh, cowboy coffee. So without further ado, we'll head further into the pine and see what we can find. Come on. Well, that bit's absolutely perfect. And it's all fat wood, but it's gonna take me forever to get through with that tiny little silky saw, but uh, definitely worth taking home. The problem is we're cutting fat wood, is it's so, so resinous that your saw is just gonna bind into it as you cut it. But I think what I'll do is I'll just stick a couple of relief cuts in it and I'll just use the ax just to chop out some bigger bits and then I can always process it when I get back home. But this is an absolute cracking find. This is absolutely beautiful, but see how long it takes me to get through it. It smells absolutely divine. And that is a solid, solid piece of fat wood. And there's tons more there to get, so let's get stuck into this. Well, not a bad haul really. There is absolutely tons of it around here, so I'll have to remember this spot. So this will come home with me now and I'll let it dry out naturally and it's used um, for, for camping trips, for days like today where I'm just coming out to have a coffee. And I use it at home as well to light the fire and to light the sauna. It's absolutely brilliant, brilliant little fire starter and it's well worth having in your bag. Just even just a small piece of it as well. But we've got some nice little bits here as well that we're gonna to use just to brew our coffee up. So we'll go find a clearing and let's get a coffee on the go. Just sat down to brew my coffee and I see this in the distance here. This has got some really gnarly, gnarly twists and turns inside of it. So this is a birch bell here. It's basically, I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it's a fungus that causes the, the, the tree to go out like this, but it's an absolute beautiful, beautiful wood for carving. And you see a lot of cooksers and things that are made out of this. In fact, the cookser that I'm using today, uh, which was carved by Matty, is uh, made out of a birch bell. But this is a bit bigger than what I was actually hoping to find, uh, especially with that little tiny saw that I've got with me today. So I'm definitely not gonna be able to harvest this one. So we'll have to come back on another day with a bigger saw. But 
This is absolutely beautiful birch bell. It's an absolute perfect, perfect fire lighter. Leave my sticks. Leave my sticks. So that's the cooksa that Matt's made for us out of that birch bowl and you can see by the pattern on this wood it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful pattern and an absolute beautiful piece of work as well. I absolutely adore this cooksa. So we're brewing cowboy coffee today. So my coffee kit basically is a Sami coffee bag. This was sent to me by a subscriber in Finland so thank you very, very much for this. It's made out of reindeer hide and it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful, typical Scandinavian uh, coffee bag and then inside there I keep my cooksa and then I've got another little pouch of uh, really coarsely ground coffee inside of this pouch here. Now to brew the coffee I personally prefer to allow the water to boil first and then add the coffee into it so the water's just on the boil now we'll take that off we'll get the coffee in. And then the last bit of the process, you really, really just gently, gently need to get this coffee to foam up. You don't want to bring this up to the boil. And there we are, all done. And it also shows you that you don't need a massive, massive fire. Right, and then in typical tradition, the first one goes to the little people of the forest. And then the second one is for me. So like the name of the video says, coffee with cheese. Yeah, we're gonna be trying it with cheese. Why cheese? It sounds absolutely rank, doesn't it, really? But if you think about it, the conditions that the Sami live in, you know, everything's frozen, everything's cold. So if you wanna just defrost something, why not throw it in the coffee? And that's obviously where it's all come from. So the cheese, it's very, very difficult to get hold of outside of Sweden and really outside of Northern Sweden as well. So um, I've had a little look around and I couldn't find any of it at all, but I found a recipe for it. So I've made it myself. So this is my version of Cafe Erst. So there we go. That is a piece of Cafe Erst or Finnish squeaky cheese. It's otherwise known as. It's got a texture similar, similar to, to halloumi. And it is really, really simple to make. So I'll stick a recipe and the method uh, in the description below there for you. So I haven't actually tried this yet and I definitely haven't tried it in coffee, but let's see how it's taste. Well, it's very bland. So whether I need to stick some salt in it or whether it's just how it's supposed to be. I've never tried it before. Right, let's cut a few bits off and try it in the brew. Great, it's absolutely throwing it down now. Well, it hasn't flavoured the coffee, but let's try a piece of the cheese. It's actually really nice. <laughs> but I think it needs a bit of salt. Actually, that's really good. That's really good. I shall definitely be taking this on trips with me again. There's a bit of a sweet taste to it after it comes out of the coffee. And then what else is perfect to have with it but some reindeer jerky. Now normally pieces of cured reindeer meat are put into the coffee as well. So we haven't got any cured reindeer meat but we've got some reindeer jerky. So let's try a couple of bits of reindeer jerky in the coffee. I just love reindeer. 
but this is a really nice combination. So the cheese initially was really quite bland and I thought, well, maybe it needs some salt. But once it's got it in coffee, it's got a nice little sweet taste to it. And then a piece of reindeer. It's a really nice combination. Really random combination. Yep, I'm into that. I really enjoyed that. That's something definitely that's worth putting into my expedition packs. Maybe I'll change the recipe, put a bit of salt in it. And one thing I did forget to mention is it is actually baked. It's baked on 200 degrees for about 40 minutes, I think it was. But uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Definitely something I've wanted to try for a long time and never been able to try it. So I hope the recipe's fairly similar. If anyone knows of any better recipe, please stick it in the comments below. Right, so it's time for the giveaway. So the giveaway I will announce just before Christmas. I'll try to get it to you before Christmas, but I can't promise anything because of the way the postal service is at the moment. So what are we giving away? We're giving away a bag of Renier's reindeer jerky. It's absolutely fantastic stuff this is. Whether it's the red deer, whether it's the elk or the reindeer, it's 100% organic and 100% wildly sourced as well. So if you want to have a chance to win some of this, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and then in the comments below on this video, just put hashtag Santa's missing a reindeer and then we'll draw the winner out on a video just before Christmas.